Hey, this is Ryan Payne filling for Bob for this week's market update. And this week on the Street of Dreams, stocks rallied hard on Friday, breaking a four-day losing streak led by regional bank shares climbing off their lows and market-leading Apple jumping to within three points of its all-time record high after posting better-than-expected quarterly results. Despite Friday's rally, the Dow and the S&P logged their worst week since March. The 30-stock Dow lost 1.24%, while the S&P 500 dropped 0.8%. The Nasdaq eked out a small weekly gain of 0.7%. Stocks rose even as April's jobs number came in hotter than expected. The U.S. economy added 253,000 jobs in April, exceeding Wall Street expectations of 180,000 new jobs. The rebound for regional bank stocks was boosted by a note from J.P. Morgan, which upgraded several banks to an overweight opinion. Shares of regional bank companies have been under pressure this week as traders fear other banking institutions could suffer the same fate as Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank, and First Republic Bank. It was a busy week for investors, which saw the Federal Reserve once again raise interest rates by another 25 basis points. However, the current consensus in the financial market seems to be that the Federal Open Market Committee is done hiking and will pause any future hikes for now. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and company are trying to thread the needle to lower inflation with higher interest rates without causing a major recession. Can they do it? Only time will tell. Stay tuned. So another volatile week in what's been a very volatile six months. The S&P 500 has experienced 21 daily drops between 1% and 2% since October's low and five drops between 2 and 3%. That's much downside volatility, which creates tremendous uncertainty and no doubt makes us feel all a little uneasy. The good news? The S&P 500 is actually up 17.6% since October, and the MSCI World Index is doing even better, up over 20%. Yes, we have strong double-digit returns, returns that would look great for a full year, never mind just a little more than halfway through 2023, despite negative headlines of rate hikes, recession, inflation, debt ceiling, trade tensions, and three U.S. bank failures. That is a lot for markets to deal with, yet deal with it they have. Demonstrating once again the winning strategy for investors is time in the markets, not timing the markets. So if your goal is to achieve your financial goals over your lifetime, the best time to invest will almost always be now. Short-term volatility is impossible to time, and waiting for the perfect entry point means not only do you miss those returns in real time, but you miss the opportunity to participate in the greatest money-making machine in history, compounding your interest and dividends. So if you're thinking to yourself, you need to get on top of your investment portfolio, your retirement plan, well, here's your shot to do it. If you saved over a million dollars, call or text at 8752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC.